Hey everyone, welcome back to Alleyways, or if it's your first time here, welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for taking time out of your day to watch this video. And if you haven't already, please, please, please be sure to join the Alleyways family. Subscribe to my channel, give this video a big thumbs up, and turn on post notifications, not only so you know when I have new content, but also so I can include you in my subscriber shout out. This is my special way of thanking and acknowledging each and every one of you. I love you all so much, and I'm looking for new subscribers to shout out. So if you would like a shout out, please let me know in the comments down below. I am super excited to be back on the channel today with another haul from one of my favorite Amazon stores in the Lumia. They are so great. They always have great pieces, great prices and fast shipping. I have so many pieces I'm excited about. So let's go try them on. Okay, fam, we're starting off with this two piece set. I always talk about how much I love two piece sets on the channel, both for the value and then for the capability of mixing and matching. Now this two piece set, I'll come up close so you all can see is a black and white houndstooth pattern. It kind of has white details around the trim. This is a really nice elastic waist. It's a fitted kind of stretch fabric that's really, really comfortable. It has a crop top with two wide straps, which is great because you can wear normal undergarments with it. You can see everything is totally covered, which is nice. The white parts are not sheer, so you don't have to worry about anything being see-through. But what a fun look is this. The pants have a little bit of a flare and hit right above the ankle and I'm 5'6". So on our taller girls, they might be a little shorter. And on our shorter girls, they might be just like a full length pant. Either way, they're really cute and it's so comfortable. This feels like wearing pajamas because it's so soft and stretchy. And what a standout outfit. This is kind of giving me like a 60s vibe. I paired it with these white boots. Um, that I have that I love, but I think it'd also be really great to pair it with fun, bright, bold accessories to bring some color to the outfit. And both of these are gonna pair really well with other pieces in my closet, you know, different tops, different pants, skirts, jackets. I just think this is a really fun and versatile set and it's a really good value. So already, I feel like we're off to a pretty strong start here. Our next piece is this white sleeveless polo. There is micro ribbing detail, but this is kind of like a stretchy fabric. It has functional buttons right here and a great collar. One thing I will point out on the bottom, over my pants, it is a little bit sheer. So you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you have a strapless skin tone undergarment on with this. Um, it's not so sheer that I would worry, but it's really cute. It feels just like classic summer. Um, and it's just a great basic to have in your closet but at a really good price. There is plenty of length on this. So you can see if you're one of those people that likes a little bit of bum coverage on the bottom of your shirts, or if you wanna tuck it in, it could be really cute. And here we're already seeing how well these play pants play with, uh, that's a, t a tongue twister, listen to me go. Uh, pants play with other pieces. I think that looks really cute. I personally would tuck it in and blast it out a little. I think that looks better on my frame, but again, such a versatile and easy piece, something cute and fun and kind of like preppy for summer. I love this top. It is a really fun, bright color and that's what initially drew me to it. I spent so much time just wearing all black, but then I found whenever I wore color, um, I got a lot of compliments and I don't know, it feels fun and happy and it is truly a form of self-expression to wear color. And a color like this is a big choice. So I'm gonna come up close so you guys can see. It is truly a neon green. It looks a little more sherberty in the camera, but in person it has more saturation. It's a soft, stretchy, one-shouldered blouse within just these little fabric details kind of going across. And I feel that the lines that it creates are really flattering. You can just go with a strapless skin tone undergarment. You can see around the back, it's cropped, gives plenty of coverage though, and it doesn't feel like it's slipping or sliding. This isn't a piece you're gonna spend all night doing this to. Do you know what I mean? The ladies here know what I mean. I like this, it's fun, it's different, it's easy. It's going to just go great with jeans, skirts, crazy pants, anything like that. Yeah, I, it, and it's comfortable. It's like a soft, stretchy, um, there's polyester in this, I, I can feel. So cute standout piece for summer. Next up, we have another top. This is just a basic great tank to have in your wardrobe this summer. Everyone's wearing tank tops with every outfit, whether it's sweatpants or biker shorts or regular shorts. 
I have seen more tank tops this year than any year I can remember. This one has micro ribbing. It's a soft fabric. It's kind of a knit. I feel a little bit of cotton. It has this really sweet kind of scalloped edge that just has a little bit of motion. It's this gorgeous green color. It's cropped, but not too high. It's hitting right at the top of my belly button. Um, it's not sheer. The best part about this, you guys, is it's not just this top that you get when you buy it. Hold, please. It comes in a three pack. And this is the color option I chose. I wanted some really good neutral earth tones. Once again, that's been a really big trend. There's other color options if you don't like these, but it also comes with the same top in black. And also, and this kind of, um, whatever you wanna call it, neutral, beige, mocha kind of color. How great is that to get three tank tops for the price of one? I was really excited about it. Another style that has been really popular is the sleeveless mock neck look. So this is actually a bodysuit. It does clasp in the bottom. It's pretty long and it doesn't come up too high on the hip. As you can see, it's not, I know, I know people have complained about every bodysuit being cut all the way up to your waistline. This one gets plenty of coverage. Um, it is uh, once again, a knit fabric. And I hope you guys can see there is some ribbing, just some texture. And like I said, it's a mock neck. So if you're not really into the full turtleneck, this could be for you. I just think this style is really classic. And I am somebody who does not like to wear sleeves with jackets in the winter. So if I wanted to look like I was pairing a mock neck turtleneck with a blazer. This is how I would do it with a bodysuit. So my arms could be free in the blazer. I hate when my sleeves roll back. I will have to say everything I've tried on so far, the sizing has been dead on. I ordered everything in a medium. I always put all of my sizes um, as well as like the sizes I ordered all of these things in, in the description box down below along with links and any discounts that I have. Just so you know, I forgot to say that at the beginning. This is a great basic piece. Doesn't come in too far in the back. So I'm actually just wearing a regular undergarment with straps that I kind of pushed in, which is my personal preference. Love this. It's a classic style. I can keep it for years and style it again and again so I can really get the most out of my wardrobe. Great, we have two new pieces on. We already saw this top, you guys. If you didn't like the neon green, it also comes in white if you want just an elevated everyday basic piece to add to your wardrobe. The white's nice, it's not too sheer, fits the same, still nice, comfy, stretchy fabric. Great fit, great price, but I've paired it with this sweet little skirt. I'll come up close again while we're talking about it. So this is a smocked skirt that is a lavender floral print with a little kind of like purple roses. I just thought this was so cute and sweet. I love to have a smocked skirt because it feels like it just hugs everything in. But this one has the added little flare detail on the end, the ruffle hem, which just makes it really soft, feminine, and cute. This definitely gives me Disney Fantasyland vibes. This skirt is just comfy, easy. Um, you could style it with white. You could try doing more of a monochromatic look with a purple or kind of go crazy and pick any color you wanted and, and make it fun. The floral is very just subtle um, and I love the color tones. And that's all I have to say. <laughs> hey folks, we've had a complete wardrobe change. Once again, we have a one shouldered top. This one, however, is different from our white and neon. This is a bodysuit. So it's not even the same style, even though it might look the same. It does have some ruching right here at the shoulder that just creates these nice lines. It does have snaps at the bottom that are comfortable. This is a nice, thick, kind of stretchy fabric. Once again, a an elevated basic. That's a lot of what I'm looking for now is something that is easy to style, but stands out a little bit and something that I can do a lot with, like pairing it with these crazy flare leg stretchy pants. We've seen tons of things from the 60s and 70s be really big. I'll come up close to give you guys an idea. This is what the pattern looks like, kind of like psychedelic cream and white, micro ribbed stretch fabric. Both of these are really nice, kind of comfy cotton blend stretch. Now, these feel like pajama pants on, but how cute would these look with a pair of roller skates? I know there's roller skating has been so big. I don't know if we have roller skaters on the channel, but if we do, you guys need these. Um, it's, it, 
for me, whenever I'm buying a trendy kind of piece or something that's unique or different, I, that's when I like to have budget options. If I'm getting a wardrobe staple, uh, I'm, I'm more likely to invest in a more expensive piece because I know I will want to wear that time and time again. But something fun like this, just to get for a cheap price, that, that's the way I like to do it. This is fun, looks great with black, but would be great with a loud color. Just so cute. So I guess the theme of this haul is one shouldered pieces. I did not even realize how many I picked, but I saw this really dramatic, it's a bodysuit. Once again, it's a soft cotton blend. Um, one, uh, one shouldered long sleeve cut out black bodysuit. Gave you all the adjectives there. Um, just different. I mean, again, like I said, I'm just trying to find things that are interesting because I do have so many people ask me to bring my own clothes to shoots and a lot of times they want things that are unique or different or um, just kind of weird even. So this one snaps at the bottom. It's totally opaque. I love that it has one long sleeve and then is one shouldered. Again, a black bodysuit you could style with anything and I have so many pieces that are gonna go so well with this. But if you guys were wearing this, what would you put it with? We have so many, so many stylish peeps on the channel that help me so much, so let me know. All right, if you're thinking this top looks familiar, it's probably because it is. So a while ago in one of my Malumia hauls, I got a two pack of this exact tank top, black and white, and I've worn them so much that I was ready to get more. First of all, mom was just saying, and I agree, I think the rust looks really nice with these pants. That's really bringing in the 70s vibe. Um, but this is just a kind of ribbed knit mock neck tank. Once again, everyone's wearing this style. It's comfortable. It's not too terribly cropped. I, I love wearing high-waisted things that just like meet perfectly. And the best part, bum ba da dum it's part of a two pack. Like I said, I wear my black one all the time and sometimes it'll be in the laundry and I wanna wear it. So I got the black and rust, but they have tons of color options, tons of cute color options. So don't be surprised if on a future Malumia haul, you see this again in other colors or just the same ones. Fam, fam. When I saw this, I immediately said, Disney Cruise Line, day one, embarkation day outfit, done. Look at this dress. Okay, I'm gonna come up close. It is a really gorgeous light blue and white stripe. It has this, mom, what's this kind of collar called? It's like a, hold please. It's like a little straight ruffled collar. I don't know, but it, it, I just love it. It goes into these little strings that have white tassels on the bottom. It is puff sleeve. It has these little natural wooden buttons that are functional. It cinches in at the waist and then goes into a multi-layered kind of ruffle little bottom. Picture this with a straw hat and sandals, like raffia sandals or even white tennis shoes if you want to just be super comfortable. How cute is this? The white parts are totally opaque. It just is, oh. Even if you don't love Disney Cruise Line, this is giving like um, Charleston or even, you know, Martha's Vineyard. It's just a great classic dress and it's so comfortable. It kind of feels like linen a little bit. So light, breathable, classic, soft, feminine. I love it. All right, our next dress is this cute little very, very 1960s dress. Is this A-line? What it's is this? Trapeze. It's trapeze, yes. So this is a trapeze dress. This is a really soft, stretchy blend fabric. Once again, we have the turtleneck, but the short sleeve, which is so indicative of the 60s style. I got it in that classic black with a white patent leather headband or a black and then some teasing, you would nail the 60s look. I just think that this is sweet and easy. Um, if you wanted to go full 60s with it, you could, or you could modernize it. It's just a basic little black dress. I do get asked for like a lot of like specific themed shoots. And so I try and build my wardrobe to have those things, but I also just love the 1960s style. So when I saw that they had this, I was like, done and done. And now that I have it on and it's so comfortable, I know that I'll wear it a lot. All right, we're gonna finish up with some swimsuits. I am looking for some really cute swimsuits for my upcoming vacation on the Disney Wish. And when I saw this one, I thought it was really unique and different. So it's a smocked style with a floral pattern and the floral pattern is really beautiful. It has lots of nice warm tones in it. 
Um, and I just thought this was really cute and sweet. It's also super comfortable on. It's fully lined and padded, and it's totally adjustable because you can see it has ties everywhere. So at the back of your neck and your back and at each side, this is a little bit of a skimpier style, but it's not overly cheeky. I feel comfortable in it and not overly exposed. This is really cute. And I'm sorry that I don't have a tan right now, but um, I think they would probably all look better with the tan, but still, even now it's pretty cute. Okay, our next swimsuit, wow. Okay, the thing that drew me to this swimsuit is the color. Whenever I'm going on vacation, I wanna have a bright, bold color to photograph against the blues of the beach that I'm visiting. And something like this really makes your photos pop. Um, and let's be honest, it's just fun to wear. Also, this style is really unique. So not only do we have the gorgeous color, but we also have this like really cool metal ring detail that's here. It's one shoulder that has this cutout. And then there's the ring detail on the side here, fully lined and padded. Um, it's comfortable, it doesn't feel like it's slipping and sliding, but it is very cheeky. <laughs> Gonna give a quick turn on that because this is a family channel, but I love this swimsuit. It's, I've never seen anything like it. The color, the fit, the style, everything just feels fun and comfortable. Okay fam, that is it for today's video. I had one last piece, I'll show you guys. I thought it was a one piece swimsuit, but it didn't fit me quite right, even though I ordered it in a medium. It was just very risque in a way that I would not show on the channel, even though it might be your style, it was not mine. Still, um, it was cute, but <laughs> uh, yeah. Thank you guys for taking your time to watch this video. Live chat crew who's here with me now, thank you guys. I love y'all so much. Thank you all for being here. I love you and I can't wait to see you next time right here on Alleyways. Bye.